Hey, what's up fellow anglers? It's Aaron Lasseur here and I've got another installment of a freebie Friday for you. And this is part two of the episode of where I take Nick at Fish and Pinball out on the Delta. He, if you remember, he was the winner of the YouTube Freebie Friday contest a while back when I reached a thousand subscribers. And then this is the second part of that day. Now we didn't catch nearly as many fish you're going to see in this episode as we did in the morning session. In the morning session, we had a really, really good bite going on whopper ploppers and spinner baits. And then I try to get us out there to do something a little bit different, maybe find some different areas for you guys to go out and repeat some of that stuff on an afternoon session. We try to use the same baits to see if I could find some other areas. And you're going to see that we found some other areas, didn't catch quite as many fish, but I do give you some waypoints where you can go out and try to repeat that and fish to your strengths. You don't have to throw the whopper ploppers or the spinner baits. You know the fish are there. So you can try some other techniques that maybe you feel fish to your strengths and go try those out. So stay tuned for the video right here. Now for future videos, I'm going to start venturing out. I've got Clear Lake. I'm going to be heading up there and then Oroville and some other lakes on my hit list. But I want to know from you, the viewers, what you want to see. Where would you like me to go? What are some techniques? And I'm going to compile a bunch of those, those comments and figure out kind of my game plan based on what you guys want to see and what you want to learn because this show is for you. I'm out here to try to teach you some techniques, show you some areas, things like that to help shorten your learning curve when you're out there on the water because this is for the everyday weekend warrior who doesn't have all this time to get out there and fish hours and hours and hours on the lake and really figure them out and drill them down and, and being able to get out there and really catch a lot of fish. So leave those comments on the YouTube channel so I can figure out where I'm going to go next. Again, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you already don't. I'm Aaron Lasseur. Stay focused, fish hard, and let's check out this video. Yeah. Oh, there's one. Yeah? Oh, little guy. Little guy. Dang it. <laughs> yes. He did really well for a long time, and then now. I only, had a duck. only had a couple. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That could be a big one. Oh, it's just a solid one. Nice. I thought it was going to be bigger. It just made my rod just stop. <sighs> Don't jump again. I'll take it though. We've had a, quite the lull. <laughs> Been up a good fight. It's about a four pounder. You think? No, three and a half. Look bigger in the water, wow. but it's solid. Nice. You should weigh that guy. Nah. He's three. He's a little over three. Oh, finally. All right. So we've been cruising around, hitting island points with sparse toolies and getting nada. Just getting our butts handed to us. A little bit has changed. We don't have as much cloud cover. The wind hasn't really died down a whole lot. It's died down a little bit. Obviously the sun's up higher than it was on the previous episode, which was earlier today. So we're just kind of running around and fishing what looks good to see if we can put some other patterns together. We just hit a riprap wall with some wind and current coming up on it and just made the right cast at the right time. And, and we got that nice one right there. So we're gonna keep going, looking around, trying to get some stuff, put something together. And oh, that was on a spinner bait. Again, same one. same one, I'm all tangled up. Same white spinner bait with a little Kitech trailer on it. And just throwing it into some sparse weed edges. Let's try to keep this trainer rolling. Again? Yep. 
He's a little smaller. Oh, and he came off. Damn it. Right on that outside edge, I was just thinking to myself that this spot is pretty good because we've got the wind and you can see the current rolling right up against these, this Thule or the, uh, the Hydrilla patches right here. I'm like, this has got to activate these fish, turn them on a little bit. It's perfect, perfect conditions right here. Little guy though. No, I mean not a six incher, but it is better than a six incher. Uh oh man, these fish are not staying on our hooks. Ah, he got me, he got me. Get, 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 get. Whew, I'll tell you guys what. After this morning session and we started whacking them, bike got pretty tough. We're still kind of doing the same things we were doing this morning. We're catching sporadic fish here and there and a bunch of little ones. Still catching some fish, just not nearly as many. Just fishing some different stuff, rip rack banks. We fished some Thule Islands and the points, current, slack water, just kind of mixing it up to try to put something else together. It's been pretty tough. Oh, <laughs> damn it. That's two bites within the last five minutes. If Yep. Yeah, so we're just cruising down this riprap bank. I'm just kind of throwing it about a 30 degree angle. Nice up tight, bringing it back. And they're just coming up from these big giant weed beds down here in between the trough and smacking it. All right, fellow anglers, we're back. I've been out here for like two and a half days. I think I figured it out. It was like 30 hours on the water and I had a killer time. Mm -hmm. The bite was pretty darn good up until about this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Nick and I went out and just smashed them in the last episode, which was this morning. And then so we transitioned around noon to kind of like go look for some other stuff and see if we can put some other patterns together and try some more reaction baits because we still had some wind going. But the Delta, I'll tell you what, It'll change like that on you out here. And we had that little front move through and this morning we just knocked their lights out. Yep. And then it got a little less windy and it got a little hotter. And the tide was different too. We had the falling tide this morning and then we had an incoming high. And you know, it really, it switched, it switched the bite up and we really didn't do that well in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Now we could have probably slowed down a little bit and thrown some Senkos and some drop shots, but I wanted to basically kind of keep that same reaction style and run around the delta to find some other different patterns based on that bait because it was working so well and it really didn't work that great and we, we probably could have chased the wind a little bit more and we did do that a little bit and maybe kind of fish some more of those rip wrap areas but we kind of did that, that at the end too yeah. and we even went back to some of the places we whacked them this morning i'll tell you what it's a ghost town yep we, we didn't do that we didn't catch any on some of those spots we caught those yeah, fish this some morning. Of those places were dead this afternoon. Yeah. So that just goes to show you that don't get discouraged out here on the Delta. It can be hard. And even though you whack them one time, the conditions change like that out here. The tide's not right. The weather changes a little bit. And those fish won't do this exa the exact same thing. Right. So d just come back out again, read the conditions, read your weather, figure out what you did in the past that worked in those areas to make sure you had the same tide, same conditions, and then do that same thing and, and adjust as accordingly. Like I said, we maybe got some Senkos out and, and put a few more in the afternoon. We still got bit. We, when we ran around, I caught a, a, pr a pretty solid one later in the afternoon. We were still getting some, some fish here and there sporadically. Not even as many though. But not as many. No, we, we caught a lot more this morning. Yep. But like I said, don't get discouraged because you can still catch them and you're still a good, good angler. It's just, you just got to keep running around and look for those areas and 
try to match what you did or, or adjust. Like I said, we could have slowed down, but that's not, that wasn't the game plan today. It wasn't to throw Senkos and throw drop shots. It was to kind of keep that reaction bait going and trying to move around and chase the fish around and the, and the wind. And which, yeah. you know, it, it bit us a little bit in the butt, but, like, but we still did catch some fish and have a good time. And I got some great day. waypoints for you guys. Yeah, so I had a lot of fun, buddy. Yeah, yeah I had a blast. Yeah. Thanks, I appreciate it. Hey, no problem. So you got any takeaways from the afternoon? Any, anything that you're gonna take back and, and say, okay, this is, what, this is what I learned from the morning versus the afternoon? Yeah, I, this pretty much goes along with you know, what I've been thinking for quite a while. It's, it's yeah. so unpredictable out here, unfortunately. Yeah. And so it, we kill it in one place in the morning, come back in the afternoon and it's just dead. Right. And so this would have been an example of probably changing the technique and trying something different, trying more things, but we were getting bit. Right just not as much and because we kept getting bit it made me want to keep fishing them keep throwing the whopper plopper keep right throwing the, right the spinner bait but it just wasn't as good yeah and that does but, happen you'll get in a you'll get in that zone where you're like what well, was working earlier and i do the same thing yeah. well you know it was working earlier we're going to stick doing this and keep going grind and grind and grind and when like we could have probably adjusted a little bit yeah. but we were having fun and throwing that bait and when you get on the reaction style bait and you're constantly casting and retrieving it's, it's fun, fun. Yeah, it's fun yeah it keeps you busy all day long and it's fun and you'll get a bite here and then you move to another spot and get another bite here and so it, it ends up being a lot of fun and I, i'll tell you what i don't like to fish that slow some i mean I, i'll fish slow but if i have the opportunity to throw a reaction style bait versus drag a worm it's really I'm, fun. I'm gonna drag i'm gonna i'm not gonna drag a worm yeah yeah definitely so yeah, but you know, don't don't get discouraged. You know, you're, you're still learning the, the delta, like we all are. I mean, there's still a ton of places out here I haven't fished. I haven't fished every single scenario. Yeah. And you just got to keep working on your repertoire, and then recognizing what's changing and what you need to do to adjust. We, so, we fished in a lot of current today too. It was yeah. a high current day. Yeah. And that changes everything. We did. The <laughs> current did rip through a lot of the areas that we fished earlier today. It was really ripping. I actually didn't charge my trolling motor or trolling batteries enough last night. And at about an hour ago, we just had zero trolling motor. So that was my bad because I thought it was all charged up. It wasn't. So I put a little more charge in this morning. But we, I tried to stay out of the current as much as possible, which I had said in the shows previously, make sure you're going with the current, with the wind, if possible, because I just did what would happen. when We, we were dead in the water and, and came back in, although we were coming back in anyway, making our way in. We had a long day out there. But hey, man, I enjoyed it. Thanks for coming out and hanging out. That was, that was a good time. I'm normally out here by myself, so it was fun to have somebody in the boat and chit-chat with for the day. It, it made it a lot of fun. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Hey, you're welcome, buddy. <laughs> like usual, make sure you're following on Instagram and on Facebook, checking for the updates. Follow me on the YouTube channel. I've got content always going up there. I'm Aaron Lasseur. Stay focused, fish hard, and I'll see you out on the water. Whoa, 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 wait a second. I almost forgot. We're not done yet. I'm going to show you the baits real quick because it changed in the afternoon. We got one six inch whopper plopper fish. That was it. But Nick was throwing a spinner bait. I was throwing a spinner bait, and this pretty much was what we were getting bit on the entire day. They're very similar, both white. This one just happens to have a Colorado blade on it. Those has double willow leaves. So we both got a Kitek style bait. This one's a Kitek. That one is not, but it looks like a Kitek. Both on braided line. Yep. Our rods are very similar. Uh, this is the same rods. We were using these same rods in the previous episode. This is the Dobbins, the Champion 734 CSH split handle. Abu Garcia reel. That's basically what we caught them on in the afternoon. We were throwing that everywhere. The Thule points, through the sparse Thule's, rip wrap walls, you name it, we threw it. But that was really the only rod we caught them on in the afternoon. We needed one rod because the whopper plopper bite was zero gone. So. I wanted to make sure you guys saw that and I had that on there for you so you know what bait we were using, like always. Okay, now we're out of here. See you later. <laughs> uh oh. We're going in. Uh. Hey man, everyone makes bad casts. Thank you very much.
Did you get that one hooked? I'm sorry to say I'm stuck again. Did you get that on the rocks? Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> We might be just fishing or filming Nick getting stuck in the rocks and the and the toolies all day. It's, 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 it's my new show. How to get your shit out of the rocks and the toolies. <laughs> I see it moving. Get her, get her. Oh, oh, dang it. Oh, little guy. Dang it. <laughs> He's a little smaller. Oh, and he came off. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Thank you.